September 16th is the grand finale for 2023. After that, the season of biological warfare will be upon us. Make plans to be at Union Temple Baptist Church, Washington, D.C., Saturday, September 16th, 2023. Doors open at 10 a.m. Delicious plant-based soul food and dessert from food activist Dr. Ruby Lathan and my keynote lecture for the grand finale, Tuskegee 2023 Part 3, The Weaponization of Food Against the Black Community. Woo! Get your tickets now. The Minister of Wellness.com under Health Seminars. Or call or text 888-847-8026. That's 888-847-8026. 847-8026. The continual purposeful, purposeful poisoning of the medicine foods of God continues, brothers and sisters, the poisoning, the continual poisoning and destruction of the medicine foods of God continues. So we have a recall on frozen strawberries and fruit and fruit blends, frozen strawberries and fruit blends talking about being recalled over hepatitis there as the knowledge comes out about how important it is to be on a fruit fast and how a fruit fast is the quickest way of healing, you can rest assured. You can rest assured, my brothers and sisters, that damage will continue to be done. The damage, intentional destruction, yes, uh, of the fruits will continue. And, and we, just, we just have to, we're going to be forced to grow our own food. That's what the Lord wants. The Lord wants us to stop being lazy, to start growing our own food and then supporting those who grow their own food. That's what the Lord wants. And so this is going to keep on happening until we learn our lesson. An Oregon based company has issued a voluntary recall for certain frozen strawberry products. Concerns about hepatitis A contamination. How does hepatitis A get in fruits? How in the world does hepatitis A get in fruits? According to a news release from the U.S. Franken Food and Death Administration, the FDA, the agency said that Will Willamette Valley Fruit Company of Salem issued a recall on Monday for select packages of frozen fruit containing strawberries that were grown in Mexico. You know how this hepatitis A, you know how it's getting in there. You know how it's getting in there. It's getting in there because of these doggone animal factory forms. That's how. It's these animal factory forms. How does a doggone how does a infection, a viral infection that mainly comes through sex and sick people and other drugs, how is that getting on fruit? It's these factory farms, these animal factory farms, the satanic meat industry. It's a sin to eat meat. It's a sin to eat meat. But you can do it. And, and, and you know, if you make a choice to die, you can. But this, it, it, it's, it's a sin to support that wickedness. The righteous cares for animals, the tender mercies of the wicked or cruel. If you eat meat, you are not a righteous person. The righteous cares for animals. If you were righteous, you would care for animals and you would never put no meat in your mouth. You would never eat dairy. You would never eat fish. You would never eat eggs because you would not support the torture and murder of God's animals. That's righteousness, according to the Bible. No excuses. And you know it ain't healthy for you. You know it ain't healthy for you. You know fish ain't healthy either. You're just telling yourself that lie because you like the taste of it. You know it ain't no health benefits and eat no fish. And the Bible says, Jesus' brother said that if you know what's right to do and you don't do it, that's sin too. So mistreating animals is wicked and then doing something you know you're not supposed to do, that's, that's sin also. And the wages of sin is death. But before you die, suffering takes place. And that suffering can be years and years and years. My father, the late great pastor Eddie Jordan Jr. had nine strokes over the course of the last seven years of his life. He was tortured before he died. He probably welcomed death to end the suffering that he was under from age 58 to 66. Woo! Who still hurts me to think about that. So if you want more information on on this, I'll put the link. Well, just go to the FDA, FDA.gov, FDA.gov, FDA.gov. 
And that's where you can find more information about um, these frozen fruits and strawberries that were recalled. OK, so just be very careful, brothers and sisters. Let's support our local farmers. Let's grow our own food as much as possible. Let's make sure we're asking questions at these grocery stores and may the most high have mercy on us all. I apologize, family. I made a mistake. You all were reaching out to me saying, Minister, we're trying to support the fundraiser to help you out. And, and the promo code isn't on. My apologies, family. The 40 percent promo code it is on. That was my error. The 40 percent off the entire store, everything, books, vitamins, sea moss, herbal extract. This is a critical fundraiser because of censorship and we are in a dire time financially as a ministry and i've created this fundraiser everything on the store is 40 percent off june 2023 june 2023 so go on to the minister of wellness.com and purchase something for yourself or your loved ones to help the ministry out during our time of need great prosperity and blessings of the lord god almighty upon all who answer the call to give during this time of need. The Minister of Wellness dot com, June 2023, June 2023. If you want to give to the ministry outside of purchasing products, we have many ways to accept your tithes and love offerings. Due to censorship, we are not receiving a dime for these videos being pumped out daily, not one cent. We have critical missionary trips that cost thousands of dollars. If there was ever a time for your kindness to sow a seed into this life-saving ministry, it is now. Cash app is dollar sign minister of wellness. That's dollar sign minister of wellness. We have PayPal, Zelle. We accept checks, money orders, credit cards. Please visit the minister of wellness.com forward slash give the minister of wellness.com forward slash give and help us you can't super chat me anymore family they strip thousands of dollars from us we need your help may the lord god of israel richly bless all who help us during this difficult season